Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Team Cycle Vlog. Um, tonight we're going to be trying some of the Rev-D springs from the high traction set and the P-Tile set on the YD2 EX. Uh, we, were, <laughs> we were a little nervous because the lights came on a little late after Hurricane Douglas uh, paid us a visit over the weekend. But yeah, it's a nice small crew out here tonight, so perfect for testing this out. Alright, so tonight I'm starting out with some practice with the uh, Rev-D high traction yellow springs on there. This is like the medium hard rate. I had to put quite a bit of preload on the shock, but overall my ride height is at about 8 millimeters without the body on. I guesstimate with the body on it, it'll drop down to about 7 millimeters or so, but it's working pretty well. It's not overly loose. Um, I have a good amount of traction, it feels like even under throttle in the corner. So we're going to be testing this and then we will compare to some of the other springs. Okay, now we're going to try the Rev-D HT Green Springs. These are high traction springs. They're the next softer spring rate compared to the yellows. I only had to put on about another half turn of preload on the shocks to get the same ride height as earlier. So we'll test these out and see if I feel a difference. Alright, so I just got through testing the high traction springs in both the green and the yellow. I think that the green springs in the corner, it felt the car felt a little less planted. Um, however, if I had to get on the throttle in the corner, the car was a bit more responsive on wanting to pull forward. Um, same thing with exiting out onto the straightaway. Um, so that was the only major difference. Depending on the track, I think you have a pretty solid setup that um, you can go back and forth between. Um, yet again, I mainly just kept the ride height over a constant throughout this. So that way my camber and all that would be constant. But now we'll try the p -tile springs. This one will be a little bit more tricky because I'll have to flip them um, up and down. We'll see, well, I'll show you the instructions in a little bit and we'll see how that works out. Okay, so here are the rev the instructions for the p -tile spring set. Um, Basically, we're going to try contact lines up and contact lines down. Contact lines down is supposed to be a better feel for low grip surfaces like how this polished concrete is. Uh, we're going to start with the medium because that is the softer spring. And uh, I'll do a comparison between the medium and the medium hard. So. 
That's mainly just because this chassis is just a rear ESC mounted chassis, not a rear motor chassis. The, they recommend that if you have a rear motor chassis, you may want to start with the hard spring and probably venture down to medium hard. But let's get started. Okay, so we got the black P-tile springs installed, contact coils facing down where we can see how much less preload is on the shock now to get the same ride height compared to the previous HT springs. So let's try this out. Okay, so this is the last spring combination we're going to try for tonight because we're running out of time here at this session. But it's still the black P-Tile springs from Rev D, just with the contact coils on the top side this time. Um, according to the instructions, this is supposed to make the spring kick out harder. It's definitely a little softer in this format because I had to put a, like a, another half coil worth of preload to get the ride height that I want. Yeah, let's see. Hey guys, um, so after last night's testing, I liked the results I had with the Rev-D high traction green springs and also the P-Tile and concrete black springs. I did test them with the contact coils flipped upside down or up on top and on the bottom. I swear with the contact coils on the bottom, it was more whippy, but the instructions say otherwise. So I'll try it again probably at the next session. Uh, and I'll also go back and forth between just that and the greens to see if I'll settle on a certain spring or if it's going to be more so between the different kind of course layouts. But I just wanted to stop in and give you guys a quick look at the car. Okay, so this is how the car ended the last session. The P-Tile black springs. Sorry, the heat shrink's kind of hard to see, but yeah, there you go over there. And I tested it with the contact coils on the bottom just to confirm that I felt that it was more whippy this way. Um, the instructions say it should be more planted. Not really sure if it was just something with my setup or something along those lines. But we will try it again later on this week and we'll confirm that. <laughs> 
But um, yeah, otherwise, testing seemed pretty positive with just um, about 8 millimeters or so of ride height without the body on. I haven't touched anything on the front, but we'll play with that later on this week as well. All right, guys, it's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, basically, we're going to continue testing the different springs this week on a different layout. I like the high traction green springs, and I also had good results with the p -tile concrete black springs. So yeah, we're just going to keep testing, and I'll kind of zero in on if I actually do like a certain one or if I will be continuing to change back and forth. But in the meantime, check out our Instagram because we have some new stickers that are coming out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.